Mr. Homeschool. Hi, Mr. Homeschool here, and this video is sponsored by Whalesbot. Whalesbot is a leading provider of STEM education products for kids ages 3 to 22. So whether you're a teacher, parent, or student, they have something for everyone. So basically, kids can learn all about coding by having fun and using their imagination playing with these robots. And the specific one I was sent is the B3 Pro Coding Robot designed for kids four to six. So this one is screen free. And I'll leave the link in the description. Okay, so without further ado, let's open this up and see how it looks. Yay! All right. Colors. Oh yeah, it is like blippy. Hey, that reminds me of Legos. It is like Legos, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see how this works. It shows you all the parts, just like Legos. And then... All the parts. What are your... Oh, it has all the instructions, and there's even stories. Wow. Look at all the stories. No, no stories? Yeah, it's all stories, and, and then so you can make up to 12, I think you can make up to 12 different designs with this one. So there's instructions how to make it, mm -hmm. and uh, it has a story with it. Okay, so it looks like there is a dozen different kind of robots that you can make with this set, but let's just make the sample one and get it moving and learn the basic coding of this kit, okay? Okay, so this sample project is a motocross bike. It's like a robot motocross bike. So let's make it. So, let's, so just like Legos, you gotta put this together. Hold on. Oh yeah, there you go. So this is the this is that controller. Let's just leave this over here. Okay. And then the wheels. You got it. Yep. So you gotta put it on like this. So this one is facing you. And then put the wheels on both sides. First step for the sable project, step two. Okay. Now put this blue piece. So it looks like it's these pieces here. Okay. So I'm gonna put them on there. All the instructions. Okay. So why do you put these on there? And then they go on each side, on both sides above the tire. I'll do one too. Yeah. You got it, good job. Okay, that's step two done. Step three. Need one long piece. Just like one of these, I think. With a gray one that has a yellow, a yellow piece sticking out. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think it's that one. I think it's that one. That's it. Yep. Go. All right, take it out. That's it. So it looks like this. If I did it right. Okay, let's put these little yellow things. You see it? Little yellow things right here. Uh, well, there's one, right? There's one. And another one. 
Because that's almost full of fire hydrants, right? Yeah. Where do we put them? Here? Have it facing out. Have the... Have that little button part facing out. Okay? Okay? So, so far. Okay, and... It looks almost like an awning in the front. Can you find the little awning part? It goes over the front. Yeah. It's blue. It looks like an awning. Let's see. Okay, I know. Is that it? Okay. Uh, uh, I think so. Yeah, you're right. I think. Look, there you go. Okay, that's it so far. So we can see our progress, right? Okay. Step number five. Okay. Put this piece. Here, like, you want to do it? Right here. Yeah. Yep. Okay, below. And then that one goes below that, right in the bottom. Yep. Okay, that's the one. And then what about a white one that, that slopes down? Um, you find that? I think it's this one. This goes... This has to go on top. Yeah, okay. You can do it now or after you put the white one on. There you go. Okay. And then put that one there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wow, looks great. Let's just have the picture. Yeah. Great. Okay. Step seven. The eyes. Eyes. Oh, here. Ooh, wow. That kind of looks like, uh... Oh, uh, what does that remind you of? Reminds me of Wally. Yeah. Wally. Okay. So that goes on the yellow. You put on the yellow right there, facing forward, facing this way. You're right. The eyes facing you. Got it. Dealing with the wheels. So I guess this one long piece. Um, two of these, you're right. And then two sticks. Opposite side. So now we'll do this piece. And one of these these rods. Um, it's, it goes through the inside here. I, I think it's this one. And that's it. Look, look. Cool. All right. So now let's try to get this thing moving. So. It involves a controller and the cards. So, Is that coding? Yeah, so instead instead of using a computer to code it, this one is more kid friendly and, and it uses cards. It's up here, so we can't see those. Oh. Okay, now it's lighting up. So that's on, and I guess I have to, I have to turn on this guy. So his power switch is on the back. So it says the one on the left. Hi, I'm Little Whale. Pairing successful. Whoa. Now here, and so in this one, the coding is done with these cards. Almost like um a puzzle, maybe. Yeah, well it is like a puzzle. You are you are creating instructions. So he's over there and you're doing robotic coding from a different place. So let's do, okay, you want to start with forward? You can start with forward and then you can do anything you want. Forward and then let's do honk. It says honk. It doesn't really be perfect, it, it just it next to each other. And then you do forward again. So forward, honk, forward. Start program, run program. 
Forward. Oh, look at that. Forward. Honk. Here, look, here, go ahead, you try. So it's that right there. So you are creating a coding program okay. and you are pressing each of the commands. Turn controller light blue. Run. Run program. Save. Forward. Turn left. Oh! Turn left. So okay. it has to be running in order for it to work. Uh, I think it's still going, so press it. This? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, how is this I have no idea what this is. No, I mean, it's fun to keep it there. No, okay, and then this Let's see if, okay. So, okay, it doesn't look like it has to be right in order. Oh, the oh. helicopter sound. Forward. Whoa. Turn controller light yellow. Oh, 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 what, down there it was changing? It turned. It turned color for a second? Backwards. So, so then I'll go backwards. Backwards. Whoa. Okay. Backwards. Okay, And then now. forward again, or you can turn left. I know. I'm going to do this. Switch around. Turn left. Whoa. Turn left. <laughs> now let's, uh, oh. turn left. Turn That's left. That's going to hit me. Okay. Turn left. Backwards. Okay, okay, now you have to go. Forward. Turn left. Turn left. Oh, this is high. cool. Hey! Start program. What? It said hi when I pressed it. Start program. It's AI. It's, it's learning. Backward. <laughs> and repeat. Hey, thanks for coming with us to learn all about WhalesBot. All the links will be in the description. Okay, so review time. What did you think about the whale's bot? It was really cool when it was done. It was hard to build, though. Yeah, it was a little complicated. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, because this this was designed for, I think, four to six years old or something. Um, okay, but once it was complete and you had all of the coding piece, was it easy and fun then? Yeah, when I was controlling it. Oh. It's really fun. Oh, cool. Okay, would you recommend your friends to go out and get this then? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so for my review, I think it was a great product. Um, I think it might have been a little bit on the complicated side. Uh, if your kids are not used to playing with a little bit more of your complex uh, Lego builds or any mechanical things, uh, this one said it was meant to be four to six years old. I think it was a little bit complicated. Um, I need to help them with that. But it did come with a dozen other uh, other kind of robots you could build. So it came with these little storybooks that um, each of them have like stories and they all have themes. There's stories, but they're also different builds. So there's one that's all like inventions, which is like me mechanical kind of things and it shows you how to build them. There is one about, um, it says fun drive. So there's stories and there's kits how to make regular looking cars and different vehicles. Um, here, why don't you look it up? Um, and then there's one called Forest Adventures. Again, stories, but also, um, also instructions how to build different animals and stuff. So today we just went through the basic sample default model of the like full blown motocross kind of robot that it came with. Um, something that I realized after building it I was a little bit confused with what pieces I needed and it was totally my fault because in the parts list that it came with the box, it tells you um, the number of the size of the pieces. So there were a few times where I was guessing the piece, kind of confused why it wasn't marked on the piece, but it did have this cheat sheet included. So um, I would recommend you actually use the instructions. Uh, unlike me, so uh, I think it would have been um, smoother if I actually followed the instructions or followed the cheat sheet that came along with the instructions. So yes, um, I think it was very, it was very fun to play with, and uh, my understanding is that this is um, 
a official STEM project or a STEM uh, toy product. So it's supposed to help you help the kids with their entry level uh, beginner's guide to all things coding and sensors and mechanical things. So, so yeah, I think it was very good. I, what do you call a pirate robot? R2D2. <laughs> So hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more things like this, or my usual content is more educational, uh, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you and God bless you. Hey, Mr. Homeschool!